When you chase after a girl, you know there's a queue. It's been like that since school. For every pretty one, there are three or four men fighting over her. Cases of sexual harassment and sexual assault are more and more frequent in these factories. All of this attention, does it bother you? Yes, especially those who are insistent. I refuse every time, but it makes no difference. Sometimes they ask me out, I tell them I don't have time. Now us girls can be more demanding. If the man's family is poor, we're not going to choose that life. Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Look at the, at the fuck here. <laughs> uh, so, um, let me face the road here. This guy was telling me hello. Uh, but, um, which is nice, but... Yeah. <laughs> but this happens all the time, so at some point you get like... Okay. And... Uh, um, rape in China. That's the topic of this video. <laughs> That's a very nice topic. Uh, so there is, of course, in China, a shortage of women. There is a shortage of women in China, and the consequence of this is a rape. So you have a certain number of rape. But this guy doesn't let me go. But, uh, but he... This was green for me, and this guy is just doesn't stop. You see, doesn't let me go. Uh, and at the same time, I, I am driving with, with only one hand, which is not easy. So, the figures of rape in China, I have no idea. I have no idea. Does this happen often or not? Uh, I think it doesn't happen so often. But I believe uh, some men who don't have so much money, who are the one from the countryside, the migrant worker, uh, they face, uh, they are under pressure. There are far too many men in China compared to the number of women. It's a great business opportunity. There are more and more single men who cannot find a wife and are desperate. Um, it's not easy for them. It's difficult for them to find a wife. Uh, they don't have enough income to pay for, uh, for the wife, for the apartment, for the car, for the kid. She left me because she couldn't resist temptation. When we finished technical college, she met many men, more qualified than me. She had so many suitors. My parents, my family, everyone asked me what I'm doing, why I'm still single. And then uh, some of them, um, some of them, what they will do, they will have breakdown and they will do some crazy things like this, where they just try to rape a woman. Uh, in fact, I had a student once, and she told me, um, I never told you this. She told me um, she came back during New Year in the in the train, and this was the slow train, so these trains are very crowded. And then there was a Chinese guy, a migrant, starting started he started touching her leg and touching her, uh, touching her, and uh, she didn't know what to do because I think uh, she was 18 years old and she didn't know how to react. So I suspect uh, this might happen more than uh, this is why it might happen quite often more than uh, we would know or more than we more than more often than than we would uh, think. That's why he's brought her here thanks to a family reunification visa that she will need to renew every year. But she is not allowed to work. But I have no idea. And of course, you don't have any clear data about this. You have, I would have to speak to some police guy to know for sure. Let me stop here and let me leave you for now. And this is on the right is the bus station, one of the bus stations of Changsha. That's why you have so many cars that park here, now and here and there. You see, this is the bus station. Okay, uh, I leave you for now. Huh? A bientôt les amis, a bientôt, a bientôt, au revoir. Don't forget, give me a thumb up, give me a thumb up and uh, thank you for watching. Au revoir.